Today, Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that European has been hiding from African for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. Against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. This revelation, this undeniable truth stands before us not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testimony to the diversity and unity that faith brings. As your president, I see this truth not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. Not as a challenge to our beliefs, but you know, if I say Jesus Christ was black, or Jesus Christ is black, sorry, if I say Jesus Christ is black, Christians in Nigeria, you guys would be the one to shade me, to call me foolish. Why is it that it's the black people that do not want Jesus Christ to be black? Have you, have you noticed it? I can tell you, 100% of Nigerians, Christians in Nigeria now, if you tell them in church that that your picture you are seeing there might not be the original or might not be the true description of Jesus Christ, they will slap you. They will say, no, 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 no. The Russia president, there are scriptures, there are photos way before this Christian, this Old Testament, Old Testament and everything. The whole scriptures, the oldest Bible in the world, that is in Ethiopia shows that it was it the the color everything it shows that those people were black or sh let me not say black dark color it shows that Jesus was dark it shows but you this recent age you don't even know your history from your own village you are arguing about it why do don't you want your what why 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 it baffles me though it baffles me honestly i i i i cannot explain it because it's africa that do not want jesus christ to be black <laughs> can you imagine who do us who whitewash our brain like this somebody might even give us to be like oh maybe then there was no white paint to draw those people ah ah Hollywood, don't twist your brain. Hollywood has twisted your brain to the point that you are making excuses even for them. Well, that's a Russia president who revealed that, whether it's true or not. But if you follow the scripture, just the exactly the way the Bible describes angels. Exactly the way the book of Enoch describes angels, you guys too don't want to believe. You guys think angels are human beings with these long feathers. Oh no! There are different descriptions of different angels and what they look like. They are even some with human face, with lion head, with a, a bull head, and some of the other things. But we want everything to be pretty and beautiful as long as it's fine. Strong grab man with this long sword and long spear is an angel <laughs> with fine beds. That's the way you describe it. But God is God. God does not look at your pettiness to, to create his creation hmm? the way he likes. Uh -huh. It doesn't look at your pettiness. Please read wider, read deeper. So that being said, let's talk about some other things. Thank God today is, is, is uh, it's Sunday, and please try as much as possible to go to church. My brothers and sisters who are Christians, pray for me as well. Pray for your loved ones, most especially me. Please, I need your prayers. Just in case you are looking for people to pray for in church, you do not see. Please pray for me, Adam Sling. I need your prayers. Your prayers will go a very, 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 very long way in my life. Honestly. Well, let's check out a man who recently raised uh, a dead woman. 
Pastor Joshua Orumbe raised a woman from the dead. See the white <laughs> Who can go wrong about white white is now a bam? Hey, God is great. Oh, God is merciful. God is kind. God is patient. God is great. I saw the video of a woman. They said I died. They shall put powder on the face. Plenty dusting powder. Did the abracadabra. You know what she did? She jumped up, started bouncing. Bounce. <laughs> you died. <laughs> you didn't faint. You died. To the point that they brought you in a coffin. Whose fault is it that when you are looking at something, and you know this thing is staged, but you still say amen? <laughs> is it God's fault? Don't talk to me. The fault of the government. The fault of who? The crowd that wants small things. Somebody is running mad on a steady basis. You say it is prophetic. This fellow is depreciating. We can see on colors. This, I see this. <laughs> he say, ah, he's, he, he, he's special. Because when everything is strange, it is the prophetic. And somebody with schizophrenia will have prophet to the name. Person with mental issues we have prophets to the name. You know, it's a man of God, so I don't have any right. Well, thank God to all those men of God who know the truth and who can speak the truth. And our God knows his people though. Both the imam side as well. I will never see an imam who performs such miracle and I go to an imam. It's a fake imam. Is the fakest imam ever. It's not, it doesn't happen in our side. Ah, he's the fakest imam ever. Let me be honest, the fakest imam ever. Fake. Well, that being said, check out this pastor who solved aging problem, 20 million naira aging problem with anointing oil. Anointed. When they tell me my car is given any problem, we have prepared it. Is it given? Bring the oil for me. Open the engine. That's the head of the vehicle. Put the engine inside. Behave. 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 Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. One day they told me that they would need two million to buy a spare part in my car. I said, bring the oil for me. Open the engine. In Jesus' name, behave now. Go and start it. They started it. The trouble disappeared. <laughs> Amen. Don't let the devil trouble you too much. You are for children. They are transferring sickness. You know, as, as if it is batting. They are transferring to each other. One person just recover. Another person and the other. Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. Anoint them. Tell your children, behave. Amen. <laughs> behave. I didn't say don't care for your children, no. I have your children say, I have a say, now, come here, behave. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant to say, when something is persistent, you should know that it's beyond ordinary. Give God a big hand, everybody. Everybody. Okay, guys, uh, let me know exactly how you feel about that. It's just Sunday, so that's why I'm just uh, giving out some free uh, dose of uh, uh, faith. And also some other things. Some people might not like it. Too. People always tell me, Adam Slink, you know, go, come on, have focus. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think today we might, might be the last I will ever do. Hmm? Today might be the last I will ever do. Am. But before then, let's talk about Polynesia. Uh, this video shows Polynesia being guarded by our army officers, his wife and himself. And it makes me wonder. How come we all want the best for ourselves, but yet we are part of the problem? Is it that when they are offering us some services 
and we know such services are not good it's going to tarnish the image it's not good it's not what we want eh? why don't we reject the services is it by force that we must receive the services we go to other country we have never seen the army except if there is strange like a it's a situation that the police the security services cannot undo in the state of war you will see the army but just ordinary guard security guard they use our army if i talk now somebody will say god punish me for there because i'll say you get power or maybe person person get power i'm not saying i'm just saying oh i'm just saying i'm just saying they should stop oh i'm not criticizing them oh but i'm just saying when you stay at that altar and look at God and say, God, make Nigeria to be great again. And you go around receiving some services that are not okay. That is destroying the reputation of Nigeria. Is it that you cannot say no? No, no. They don't give you a police finish. You don't say no, police too dead. It's small. What is this? Well, let me know exactly how you feel, guys.